Hey everybody, it's Jill with Angel Creations. Welcome back to my craft room. I thought I'd hop on here real quick and do a an adorable little um, pumpkin scroll kind of thing. Um, I made a cute one over on my YouTube on uh, my Facebook page, but it's already hanging up in my house. But we're gonna go ahead and make one very, very similar right here. So I'm gonna be using the Dollar Tree pumpkins that I have already put. Um, we're gonna be using the Dollar Tree pumpkins. I'm gonna go back, and they come in a package of five. I'm gonna be using those from the Dollar Tree, but you can use. A pumpkin or any anything you want on yours and I'm going to be using a piece of this plaid um, with all the fall colors in it which is from Hobby Lobby the scrapbook paper and this was the four for a dollar I usually don't get it unless it's on sale and that was one of the fall colors this year so I got that I'm gonna be just using a piece of burlap just very short. I'm just making a real cute little something to hang and just I might just hang this one in my bathroom. This one's going to be a little bit different than the one that I made earlier on Facebook today. So um, maybe I'll put this one in my bathroom because it's going to be nice and little. So I hope everyone is doing well today. Now, I told you I already put my scrapbook paper on my pumpkin so that I could speed this up a little bit. So I'm going to put that aside for the moment and show you that my scroll, my wooden pieces, are bamboo. And I'm using my broken wind chime from the dollar. The pieces were falling off of it. So that is that, and luckily there was two pieces on there that were pretty close to the same size. And then on one piece, I went ahead, because you could see the screw hole, and so I went ahead and wrapped each end of my bamboo piece with um, just some jute also from the Dollar Tree. So, so far, everything here is from the Dollar Tree except for the scrapbooking paper looks like and I'm going to be putting some beads on here and those are also from the Dollar Tree they are the hair beads all right so I'm just going to take my hot gun and I'm just going to start gluing my fabric or my burlap right onto my bamboo pieces after I put a glue stick in here It was out of a glue stick as usual. All right, so I'm just going to put a little bit. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah. I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue on the top. This will be my top, so I'm going to use the part that has the bam, the um, jute at the ends. And I'm just going to take that and I'm just going to roll it towards me. Put a little bit more on this bottom side and keep rolling it towards me and just hold it there for a minute till it sticks. I'd like to show you one of these things that I made today. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with Lizzie and Aaron, but um, to, I don't know if it was even today. I think it was last evening. I was watching Lizzie and Aaron on Facebook, and somebody had made one of these and sent it to her, to Aaron, um, so that she doesn't burn her finger anymore. And I loved the idea of that because um, normally you wear this on your own finger, but they're quite tight and um, cut off the circulation and you can't feel what you're doing through it so you tend to take it off a hundred times during your craft and I've lost a million of them already so I thought this was genius so I wanted to show you all that. Isn't that cool? 
All right, so here's what I have so far of my scroll. And this little piece over here is not gonna show because we're gonna have, let me show you, we're gonna have our pumpkin. I didn't even see that, but my pumpkin's gonna be covering that. So now I'm gonna do the bottom end and I want this to, I guess we can do the same thing. Looks like it was just the right size. So I'm just going to do the same thing on the bottom. Run a little bit of hot glue along the bottom edge. Hold that for a moment. So if you're new here, welcome to Angel Creations. We have a lot of fun over here. Um, I usually give you a word if you watch this video all the way to the end. Um, and for doing that, I reward you with a word that you can write in the comments below and be entered into my giveaway. So, um, I'm going to be giving away, I do a lot of Dollar Tree hauls on this channel too. So I've been putting some good goodies in, um, a bin called my giveaway basket there. And I've been saving a whole bunch from every little haul. And on August 25th, I'm going to be calling a name. So you'll want to be subscribed. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're there, hit the bell. If you put all under the drop down menu, YouTube will let you know every time I upload a new video. So you will miss my drawing. Just um, make sure if you are if you are new here to go back and watch all the replays of um my videos there's not a lot of them i'm very new here myself so make sure that you go and subscribe oh and go back and watch all the um replays of my videos because there's a word given at the end of them and um you can be entered multiple times you just need the word so, um, go ahead and do that. You'll want to make sure that you don't miss that. And then on some of my videos on here are about my Tumblr business. And if you are watching one of those videos, then you will be uh, given a word at the end of those videos for the same thing. To um, be entered into my drawing at the, um, when that goal is to hit... 500 subscribers on YouTube. So go ahead and share this video with all your friends. They will be uh, able to win a Tumblr too. So if you think anybody would be interested in what I'm doing over here, go ahead and share this with them and we'll um, have a nice little community of people over here. You only have to be 18 years or older and subscribe to my channel and then have put the words in the comments below to be entered. That's all you have to do. Okay, so here we are. We have our little scroll so far. I think that is so cute with the bamboo. Isn't that cute? Okay, so now we're going to just take our pumpkin and hot glue our pumpkin down. I think I will make a bow first. Let me see if I can make a little bow out of this, also from the Dollar Tree, the little pumpkin ribbon. It's kind of on burlap looking ribbon with the little tiny pumpkins. So I'm going to try to make a bow. I'm not the best bow maker, but I'm going to try to make a bow. So we can put a little bow on our pumpkin. I, my mother could make bows, but I'm just going to make like a bunny ears bow. You know what a bunny ears is? And it's kind of how we taught our kids to tie shoes. And pull that. It's pretty late here. I don't know um, when this 
probably will air when this video will air but it's pretty late here it's about 10 30 at night and um whoopsie so i don't know if this is going to air tonight is what i'm trying to say but if it does well, i'll know who my late uh viewers are because this is the first time i've done one this late at night usually i'm out here during the day all right well that looks pretty cute pretty cute if i do say so myself i want to twist this around though because i want the pumpkin showing out that's the thing about ribbon is you can pretty much manipulate it the way you want it so this is what i have can you see it i'm gonna trim it obviously that's what I have. And then I'm going to take this jute and I'm going to wrap it around my fingers. I don't know. Let's just do it. I'm not going to count. Just over and over and over and over. Over and over and over and over. Good enough. And then I'm going to make a little bow. Take my circle. Whoop. Take my little circle that I wrapped around my fingers. I'm just going to push it together. And I am going to tie that in the middle. I forgot to, whoopsie, put it down. I forgot to take a piece of string to tie it with. So here we go. I have my little, I had to put it down. So hopefully we can get that all tied up there. All right, so we have tag along there so we have our little circle of jute and I'm gonna push it together just like that and I'm gonna tie that right in the middle can you see what I'm doing yeah it's gonna give me a hard time of course all right so I'm just gonna tie this off right in the middle to pull it tight. I'm having so many issues with my fingers. I don't know. It's like a crafter's nightmare. My fingers go numb. On me. Anybody else experience that? And I can't feel what I'm doing. I can see what I'm doing, but it's kind of a mind... Um, kind of a mind a trick on your mind because you can see it but you can't feel it I don't know. and then I'm just gonna this is what we have and now I'm just gonna spread all these loops out to the side like a flower and do the same on the other side just messy I want it to look messy but I want it to look like a little flower And you just keep spreading it and spreading it till you have a little circle. Okay, pretty close. And you just do that. And you just spread it and spread it until you have a little flower. And then I'm just gonna glue, hot glue that right. Oh wait, I, I'm gonna, let's see. Do I want that on top? Yeah, I'm gonna make my bow a tiny bit bigger and I'm going to put that little jute flower in the middle of it so it's going to look something like this you'll see when I am um, when I when I glue this down and hold it up you will see what I'm talking about twisting on me for some reason it just wants to twist so that I can't see my pumpkins pull it tight I 
tell you. Good enough. All right, so now I'm just going to trim this off just a tiny bit. And I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm just going to glue it on the corner over here to my pumpkin. And I'm going to glue my bow down first. And then I'm going to glue my little piece of jute on top of that. Can you see what we've got going on here? Probably can pull this whoop, slippery. It's a slippery little sucker. All right. Now in my little jar over here next to me, I have some, I have beads from the Dollar Tree or buttons. What do I want to use? Oops. Let's see. What does a little wooden button look like on here? I love to put buttons. Or I have a little rusty bell. That would be cute too. I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with a little, hmm, I like the little rusty bell, but it might be too little. I think I'm going to go with it because it's a little rusty bell and it almost looks, there's no way I'm going to be able to show you, I don't think, but it almost looks like a pumpkin. Let's turn it this way. Well, it looks like a little tiny pumpkin. So this is what we have so far. And I'm going to glue my rusty bell right to the center. like that and then I am going to just put now how adorable is that doesn't that look like a little, a little pumpkin I love it all right so now I'm just going to glue this onto my little scroll like this trying to get it right in the middle or as close to the middle as possible. I had it almost had a mishap there. It wasn't centered. So we want to make sure we're not gluing that to the back of the table. And then to hang this, I am going to just make a jute hanger. And I think I'm going to put a couple of these little beads that are from the Dollar Tree. You can get these in the hair section. They come in the hair section with all the little hair. Um, there's also metal beads that come in there. And they also have um, little hair clip kind of things. Let me just put a little dab of, of hot glue on the end of this so it doesn't fray. So that it's easier for me to put my beads on it. That's all you do so that that does not fray. And I'm just going to put a few... I like an odd number, so I probably will put, ooh, this is bad jute. It's pushing up. I have to take, see what's happening to this piece of jute? So I'm going to trim it back a little. Now I have to do this end again with my hot glue gun. So how many of you watch Lizzie and Aaron on here? I just love Lizzie and Aaron. 
and all of their family. You need to write in the comments below if you watch Lizzie and Aaron. They're awesome. They are so much fun to watch. I just am in stitches every time I'm watching them. Oh my God, they're two, well, Lizzie and Aaron are friends, but Aaron's sister, Aunt Critty, has been um, visiting the, a lot this summer, and they have just really gotten into some, a lot of fun. They've been having a lot of fun over on their page, so. So I just am going to put three beads on this, and then I'm just going to tie the ends in a knot so that I can glue them inside of my pipe because they are not hollow. You cannot see all the way through them. So running a thread, a cord through that was not going to work. So, all right. So I'm just tying a knot at the end, something so that my glue can hang on to inside the bamboo pipe simple and I'm going to do the same at the other end just like that hopefully that is a good length sometimes I have to do it two or three times sometimes I have to because I missed my knot the first time, so I had to do it a couple times. Okay, so now I'm just going to be putting a little tiny bit of hot glue inside my bamboo. And I'm going to stick my knot in there. Hold that down. Actually, this end fits right inside, so... It fits a little bit better than my rubber or silicone finger. I keep looking for uh, messages on here because I do a lot over on uh, Facebook and I'm live over there and I can talk to people. So I keep looking for my messages or comments, I should say, right? My comments, but... Someday we'll have comments over here. So we're just gluing a little hanger onto our scroll. And there we go. Is that adorable? I think that just came out so cute. It's a cute little fall decoration for just the cutest little nook and cranny, you know, in a bathroom or a bedroom or um, a porch. It'd be cute. Anyway, I just think that came out so cute. I love it. And with the bell, that makes the perfect little touch. I love it. All right, everybody. Well, listen, if you go ahead and make this little hanging uh, scroll, make sure you take pictures of it and go back and put them on the comments below so I can see all what you're creating. A lot of people send me um, messages on Facebook with the crafts that they're doing on by themselves with things that they are finding um, from the Dollar Tree. Not quite the same of, as mine because they might not be able to find exactly the same things at the Dollar Tree, but they're inspired by my craft. So if you are inspired by my crafts, make sure you take a quick picture and put them in the comments below so I can take a peek and see um, how yours are too. That's always fun to do. So, all right, now we need a word. The word today is going to be bead. Okay? Bead. And if you put the word bead in the comments below, 
you will be entered into my Dollar Tree giveaway, which is coming up August 25th. I am so excited to be doing my first Dollar Tree giveaway. So, um, all right, the word is bead. So thanks everybody for watching and make sure you share my video. Give me a great big thumbs up if you like what I'm doing over here and come join me i'm growing and um i can't wait till i meet you get to meet a thousand subscribers so that we can go live i can go live and talk to you um i think that's going to be really fun someday all right everybody it is almost 11 o'clock where i live thanks for being my night owls with me and uh until my next video be safe wear your masks bye